What's up guys? This week's episode is all about happiness. How the fuck can you get there? It's your boy Clint and this is the Top Free Podcast. As we said, this week's episode is all about happiness. Uh, here's the thing. We tend to, well, first of all, it's 2021. And this is the hangover of 2020, right? Like, this is the moment where we're all kind of like, it was supposed to be better. And we're at the other side now, kind of, or we're not. It's just really this weird amalgamated kind of feeling that we're all living with and resonating with. So I really thought it was a good opportunity to talk about happiness and fulfillment within whatever you're doing day to day. So whether you're a stay at home mom, whether you're a mechanic, a garbage man, a tile setter, what the fuck ever, this podcast is for you right now. So we're told our whole life that everything's complicated, right? Like, oh, if you want to do this, you have to work hard. You have to go to university. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to know this and you have to know that. You have to be an expert about clinical psychology and you have to be an expert about this and that. But I find to take a different approach on things. And, and I think that life is a lot more simple than that. For instance, we had a pitcher come to Toronto um, named David Price several years ago. And this is when Toronto was making a big run for the playoffs and they were trying to win the World Series again. And David Price comes as this all-star pitcher and he did something that caught my attention. In his locker, there was a note that simply said, if you don't like it, then pitch better. And I thought that was a crazy simple way of looking at everything for him. No matter what was going wrong in his life, if he was arguing with his wife or if this was happening and you're going to say, well, that's nothing to do with his wife. That's nothing to do with the, no, stop. The world has, has taught you to make things too fucking complicated. The world has taught you. David Price found something that he loved to do. And he knew that if he loved himself and he loved what he was doing every day, that he would be okay. He simply said, if I'm not happy, if I don't like something, I need to pitch better. The bottom line. So how do we apply this? Well, we're not pitchers. We don't get to do what we love. And as Generation X, we want to give our kids everything we never had, right? We want to sit there and make it easy for them. We want to give them the cheat code to life. Imagine pulling out your Nintendo in 1980, whatever the fuck it was, and pressing the start button pulling out your remote, getting ready, it pops on and instantly the game is over, you beat it. You missed all the shit. You missed Bowser, you missed fucking dying a thousand times on level 13 or whatever it was, you missed the lava levels, you missed all the heartache. But what's the point? At that point, what is the point? And if you're gonna tell me well, Clint, if what you just said is true, life is not complicated. Why is all these levels and why is the whole game, why is it all complicated? It's not. Look at your remote. There's three fucking buttons. The cross, the A, and the B. The whole game, you have to use three moves. In baseball, you hit, you run, you throw, and you catch. Four things. But you sitting on your couch is saying that baseball is complicated. You got to know the, the signs. You got to... No, we made it complicated. We did that. How did we do that? We made a decision. So when you wake up and you go about your day, you have to accept the fact that no matter what shit you're sitting in, you made a decision to get there. Period. And take it from someone who has made a lot of shitty decisions. A lot. And I've sat in a lot of shit. We have overcomplicated everything. It's a video circulating around right now. Two bus boys slam it up to this table, clear the table, wash it. Dude, it's dialed. I mean, they are a machine. They look like a pit crew in NASCAR smashing this table. It's clean within seconds. They high five each other and move on to the next one. This video got millions of views. The comments on the video are all about, oh, if every restaurant, if only every restaurant we went to was like this. Oh, if only my coffee was right this morning. 
And all I could think was, wow, 99.9% .9 of people aren't ready for this fucking podcast. Because it's the 0.1% that are looking at that video and going, fuck, if only I was as good at my job as these guys were at theirs. Do you think they fucking sat there when they were seven years old and said, I want to be a busboy when I'm 22? No, they did not. I guarantee you they didn't. Every single job, every single trade, every single person that's working right now, if you're not happy in your job, you fucking made that decision. You chose that. So how is life so simple, Clint? Well, it's all based on one thing. One decision that you make in your life every single day. You decide. As we're children, we're told you can be anything you want. Go out and find your passion and then love what you do, right? All the self-help books, the, the 5 a.m. club, the 12 steps to a wonderful life, the fucking Zig Ziglar's, the Dale Carney, all the stuff that I read, the Anthony Robbins, find your passion and then love it and embrace it. Well, Mr. Everybody Who's Successful, what do I do between now and then? What do I do before I find my passion? Life is this simple. Listen to the words that I'm about to say. Love what you're doing right now. This afternoon, this morning, tonight, tomorrow morning. Love what the fuck you're doing like it's the best goddamn thing in the world. If you're a trash man, bolt, bolt to the side of the street. Grab the trash, huck it from downtown. Fuck your dream. Fuck your goals. Fuck all that stuff. Forget it for a minute. Because you're never going to get anywhere if you can't be in the moment you're in. You got to embrace where you're at. Don't be complacent. Don't let it be your end, end of the story. But realize you got a long life to live, no matter how old you are. So if you take right now and you embrace the fuck out of the position you're in and you embrace this process of struggle, this process of climbing up Mount Everest, when you get to the top, you'll have climbed motherfucking Mount Everest. And trust me, it, it, it's not about the Porsche, the watch, the fucking, the roll, all this stuff that people are seeing online. Once you get that stuff, it doesn't matter anymore. So it's the climb. It's not hanging out at the top of Mount Everest. That's not the fun part. The fun part is the climb. I know that sounds crazy, right? But that's what you got to go through. Playing the game is the, is the part that's the good stuff. Love it. Embrace it. Whether you're on level one or level 30. So I'm going to go ahead at this moment right now and go outside and embrace whatever the fuck my day is going to present to me right now. All right, guys, as always, thank you for following on. Thank you for listening. I hope this benefits at least one person out there today. Like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, get the fuck back to work. You know